Sometimes I like to make them talk. Get out of my guts, you wonka. <laughs> Remarkable how you make him come to life like that. When we went after Rebecca Hall, she was the first person we tried to cast for that role because she was sort of our dream person. And she brings so much real life intelligence to it. You can really feel that she's Holmes' as equal. These women are here to identify their well-to-do husband's bodies. I am the doctor. Look, Watson, grief has scrambled her brain. She thinks she's a doctor. She really gives Grace this kind of high status because Sherlock Holmes is very skeptical that women can even be doctors. And so she gets to have the upper hand with Sherlock, who very few people get that. A lot of the humor that comes with her character is part of a play on stereotypes about Americanisms <laughs> and how British people view Americans and how Americans view British people. Rebecca is so amazing and she has a lot of experience with corsets, so I've learned a lot from her about how to get into it without passing out. That was really helpful. Lauren Lapkus plays Gracie's companion, but she was raised by feral cats. She doesn't know how to speak. She's sort of a blank slate. <laughs> Eitan has allowed me to push this to an even crazier place than I would ever expect. So there have been times where he's like, oh, you can go further than that. And I already think that I'm being so crazy and weird. So it's really cool that he wants it to be as absurd as it is. Lauren is from the UCB theater out in New York and LA. And we just got her to do our very first read through the script. And she was so brilliant that we were like, she just has to do the part. 